in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You are stand to hear the long heart cry, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are sitting at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to the last life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who by the abundance of your grace give increase to the people who believe in you, look with favor on those you have chosen, and clothe with the blessed immortality, those reborn to the sacrament of baptism, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who pleased and reigns within the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Observing the boldness of Peter and John, and perceiving them to be uneducated, ordinary men, the leaders, elders, and scribes were amazed, and they recognized them as the companions of Jesus. Then when they saw the man who had been cured standing there with them, they could say nothing in reply. So they ordered them to leave the Sanhedrin, and conferred with one another, saying, What are we to do with these men? Everyone living in Jerusalem knows that a remarkable sign was done through them, and we do not deny it. But so that it may not be spread any further among the people, let us give them a stern warning, never again to speak to anyone in this name. So they called them back and ordered them not to speak or teach at all in the name of Jesus. Peter and John, however, said to them in reply, Whether it is right in the sight of God, for us to obey you rather than God, you be the judges. It is impossible for us not to speak about what we have seen and heard. After threatening them further, they released them, finding no way to punish them, on account of the people who were all praising God for what had happened. The word of the Lord. The response to our psalm is, I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and he has been my Savior, the joyful shout of victory in the tents of the just. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord has struck the tower. I shall not die, but live, and declare the works of the Lord. Though the Lord hath indeed chastised me, yet he has not delivered me to death. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me. Open to me the gates of justice. I will enter them and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. The just shall enter it. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me, and have been my Savior. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Our reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus had risen early on the first day of the week, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene out of the whom he had driven seven demons. She went and told his companions who were, who were mourning and weeping. When they heard that he was alive and had been seen by her, they did not believe. After this he appeared in another form to, to two of them walking along on, the, on their way, 
to the country. They returned and exhorted the others, but they did not believe them either. But later, as the eleven were at table, he appeared to them and rebuked them for their unbelief and the hardness of heart, because they had not believed those who saw him after he had been raised. He said to them, Go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature, the gospel of the Lord. Like the disciples who are called to spread the good news of Jesus, let us now offer our prayers to the Father for the church called by Christ to proclaim the good news to all creation. Let us pray to the Lord. For the world, may God have mercy on those who do not know him and bring them out of darkness. Let us pray to the Lord. For our community of faith, and may the Holy Spirit guide us in our witness to the faith, inspired by, by the witness of the disciples. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our Let's pray for the deceased, and may especially for those whom the Nazis offered, Daniel A. Gabriel, Joseph and Joanne and Trahosta. May they come to share in the resurrection through God's mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord God, I hear the prayers we presented to you today. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Blessed are Lord God, for creation, for the goodness you have received the bread we offer in the fruit of the earth and work of human hands. You will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, God of creation, for the goodness you have received the wine we offer you through the divine and work of human hands. You will become our spiritual drink.
In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving her thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of it and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be put out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in our own. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you all the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving us thanks that you have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. How many we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread it throughout the world and bring the church to the fullness of charity, together with Christ of hope and grace of bishop, and Lord, I say, Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome as them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph the Moshe, his spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Jacob, and all the saints who have pleased us our years, we may merit to be coerced with the life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and and with him and in him, O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, gracious, we grant peace in our days, and that by the help of your mercy may we always hear from sin, and save from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, be delivered, my peace I give, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and gracious, we grant your peace and unity in accordance with your word. Full of advice, full of endeavor. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Let us die.
the Son, the Holy Spirit, the message, and the flowing Jesus. 